I heard you talking about, uh, oh bless, uh, that caught my attention. Uh, I would like to share with you a little bit of my uh, philosophy on that aspect. Uh, I, I think it might be a bit different to what you think. You might expect me to say, we're gonna get to that uh, stage in life and then we start giving away. That is not the way it works. Wealth is already there. And the minute you take a decision like you, uh, our friend just said, uh, it's, it's by choice, okay? You wanna be associated with such a global family. Uh, the minute you take uh, that decision, your life is on a better track because uh, one of the major and primary resources for myself and sources of confidence, you see me always confident, like I sometimes try to hold myself to slow down or humble down a little bit, uh, not to be labeled as uh, arrogant. Uh, and the reason I have that ultimate uh, confidence is because uh, I learned uh, early on to have the ability and the skill to recreate uh, my mind and the way I think. So I have full control of, of the muscle of my brain. And I believe, and I'm not talking about IQ, I'm not talking about uh, uh, how smart we are, I'm talking about how to think and how to think correctly how to structure the flow because if we're more effective about making decisions your decisions ultimately shape up your life so your life today your financial status today your social status everything as of now if you take a screenshot right now it is the sum total of your decisions up until this moment in your life. It's not my decision. It's not your neighbor, spouse, or relative. It is your own responsibility. You're in charge. And if you're unhappy about, or someone is unhappy about the direction it's going, uh, that means somebody somehow has uh, excessive influence in you that they're driving you on the wrong direction. So that means you gotta pause and stop. Nothing wrong of, of, of pausing uh, because uh, when you're on the right track and uh, believe in what you're doing and, and take small action, even if it was the last day of your life, but you, lead, you live on a purpose, you, you're living your uh, dreams and goals and uh, uh, your own you know, free decisions in a way, your free will, uh, it will give you that happiness. I'll tell you what, uh, today we can become wealthy. And I will help you to, to change that. Because we often say, when I get to that apple, my brother Peter said, then I will do, no, 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 no. We're gonna rephrase that. Uh, and I'm gonna, uh, because wealth is already there. It's not the amount, it's the allocation and the distribution of wealth. We understand. That's why we created Oh Bless so, so early on, because I do believe uh, we have the heart and it, and it comes back to us, just like what Julie and, and the group in California are doing. Uh, when they do that action, I'm sure I guarantee the confidence that she has today is a thousand times or a thousand, you know, X 1000, if you wish, uh, from the last time. Because when you do it and it works, okay, you gain that momentum, you, you, you gain that confidence. When you get that confidence, now she's doing it again, why? Because when, you, when you're confident, you take more action. You take more action, you get re results and fulfillment. So let me, let me put it this way. Okay, when you say, I'm gonna make a million dollars. I wanna become a millionaire, okay? Of any currency, okay? So, if you're just thinking the amount that is the wrong thinking then you're never going to be satisfied because you're going to just only when you get to that amount the figure when you think you're going to be happy but it's not going to work that way but when you are on the journey of the one million of any currency even if you're at zero today but you have the mindset and the direction 
and the determination to pursue that one million level, then you start feeling confident. Then you you have uh, you have that fulfillment in life, okay? And it gives you the happiness. And you take more action, and you get more results. If you enjoy the process, not the amount, not the figure, the process. That's exactly what we're doing in Unpassable. Small actions, because somebody would say, uh, "I'm making fifty thousand a year." Let's put it of any currency, okay? Uh, that should be enough. So the question is, is not the amount. It could be actually enough. But what you're looking at is, are you doing your best? And getting that fulfillment and building and piling that confidence within. Why not making it 500,000, like half a million? It's the same concept. Why would you settle for, like, would you consider a little bit extra effort? Why not five million? So always think big, expand your dreams, okay? Uh, and, and work on it. Uh, and that's why I say everything matters. Every founder matters. Because listen, successful people care about everything and anything. Just like my brother Red said, okay, I watch everything. Why? Because every single word and every single video or activity about the business matters to me, good or bad. And if you are careless about something, that is the unsuccessful philosophy. Sophisticated people care about the details and, and they care about the five dollars and they care about the five minutes, they care about the one founder, they care about the one word or the video or the bad or the unprofessional or the perfect video. Everything matters. That's why one click a day, one comment a day, a prayer matters. Because what you do in a day is going to give you that booster. And then you're going to pile up and you're going to compound and you're going to accumulate for the next day. Tomorrow, you're going to be at a higher level in terms of confidence. So I do believe it's the allocation of wealth and it's the other way around. It's not like when I, I'll do this when I get to the money. No, 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 no. I made a decision, I'm going to be wealthy because I'm going to do that. That's why I'm working on our past. That's the vehicle that you and I are building. So it can be the, the vessel in a way that will enable us to do that because I don't know, uh, not many of you or those who believe, uh, uh, let me just say, uh, the Bible actually says, the love of money is the root of all evil. I don't know if you know this. So, but it doesn't say don't become successful or wealthy. Now, regardless of your faith, I do agree with that because it can be an enemy. If, if you're just doing it for the money, but if I'm doing it like they just said for, oh bless, if I'm doing it for a higher cause than myself, and, and regardless of the, the figure, the number, then I am at a higher level of a humanitarian value, like Peter said. And, and did you see the, uh, the pride, him saying that? Like, we didn't get to that level, but did you see how he carries himself in a way, uh, delivering the statement you just watch and imagine this is, you know, going through. Uh, so the money is there, the wealth is there, the, the, the intelligence is there. It's just how do we uh, utilize it? And make no mistake, all of us together with that common mentality and uh, uh, way uh, and the heart and the way uh, uh, we uh, we strive to change and make a difference in humanity, uh, it will be impactful. So 